We had a good conversation with a 6v6 flag football coach yesterday who said he's playing in a league to where um, you can't rush anyone and they're essentially playing zone on him and they're not playing three deep, they're playing two deep. So the similarities of flag football and tackle football now start coming into play uh, when the simplicity of it is that wherever they've got their players, you've got to get an extra player there. Here's what we mean by that. If you want to attack a two deep flag football, 6v6 defense, and they're not rushing anybody, but your quarterback's got to get it off in four seconds or whatever the time is, you've got to find a way to get at least four people deep. Now, what's going to happen here is maybe one of these people right here can bend and get inside. All right. Get inside here for the area that's going to be open. But you've got to hold these safeties out here and then get somebody in the seam. The advantage that you have as a flag football coach is you may be able to run four vertical and then run your center right down the middle of the field. Granted, it's a tougher angle for the quarterback to hit the center, but you've got to find a way to occupy the safeties outside and then get somebody in the middle of the field. Now, the other way that you're going to attack this defense, and this would really hold true for a quarterback with not the you know strongest arm. Maybe you're playing with an eight-year-old quarterback. So right now what you want to do is you've got to find a way to overload the zones all right, inside the five to ten yard line. And it's easier than you think. All you want to do, and I'll go ahead and put this as a stop route, which they really all should be in this situation. You want to get five defenders in an area where they've got, excuse me, five receivers in an area where they've got four defenders. So now you've got these people here, the four underneath, are going to have to commit one way or the other. You can, once again, find the receiver that's going to be open in the void, get the ball to that receiver, and then obviously the, uh, the responsibility is now on that receiver to make someone miss with the flagpole. But always remember, too deep, you've got to find a way to occupy the two safeties, get somebody down the middle. If they cover the person down the middle, then you're going to look outside. Uh, for whoever that safety left open or that safety left open. And if your quarterback can't get the ball down the field, then what you want to do is find ways of overloading your zones inside. And never forget that you can do things like this to create some confusion as you overload those zones inside as well. So that's our suggestion for 6v6 flag football coaches who are playing in a league where no one's rushing, you've got four seconds to get the ball off, and you're facing a 4-2 zone defense.